What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Okay, let's move out. Whoa. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Either should work. Once he's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work in town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. Oh, you did, Morgan, not me. I played it cool up there. A couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to 
tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. So I hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. You did well with that gang at Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. <laughs> not through lack of trying? Nah, not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. Yeah, if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hell. Well, we'll have to see about that. Just keep your eyes open. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Whoa! Keep it down now. We're here. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunk and harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Wait till she's got him real dead. Would you care to 
child with child, and it's, I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn uh, hands up! No. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Stay no word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here, unlock the door. himself in here. Come here. Uh, Open the lockbox. It's now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I, God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but uh, you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still! I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Please, let me go. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. I'll keep a look out at the door. Help! How's it going in there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. We gotta move.
think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed.
husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself. And don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.